Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my family. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to write the letter Alif in Arabic calligraphy. I will be using the Zulu script because that's what I'm currently learning. The Zulu, there are many other scripts apart from the Zulu script. We have a um, script like the Nax, the Dawani, and modern calligraphy, and so on. So I'll be using my pencils. I normally list like this is the best tool for me. Like I don't have a column currently, so I just attach two pencils together and I really find it very comfortable using this. So the letter Alif, as we all know, is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. Normally these they have measurements to follow to get the accurate drawing or or stand that like a standard measurement you follow for each letter of the Arabic alphabet. The uh, alif can be measured in seven nukots, a singular form which is nukta. These are the standard measurements for measuring the size or length of your letters. So the letter alif can also be measured up to eleven nukots. As far you can measure it for like seven or between seven to eleven no cut. Then I'll measure the angle to start drawing the letter alif, which is seventy two degrees. I'll draw a straight line in this manner. This line will guide me and to start writing the, the letter. Now, the letter Alif is divided into three parts. The first part, which is three nukots, the second part, two nukots, and then you have the last two nukots. Then you start with a slightly S curve. Not this curve is not too visible, and you move downwards towards the right hand side. After which you continue downwards for the second part of the letter. We continue downwards towards the left hand side, towards the right hand side. Then the last part will go down downwards towards you, and at the tip you will slightly flip your column or in as in this case your pencil towards you. Next step is to draw the ilia which is on top of the letter alif. I think I will make a separate video on how to construct the ilia properly or I will just impute it in the beginning of my next video. So for this video, the draw the ilia, you place half your column length or the pencil length outside. The half will be outside the letter and the other half will be inside the letter. Then you move downwards towards the right hand side also in such a way that the fourth part of the ilia is hidden inside the little halif then you construct the rest parts like this so this is how you construct the little alif in arabic calligraphy using the zulu script i hope this this was very understandable so now i'll be using this big marker she's held marker to try and see if i can use it to construct later ali if using the same method and procedures
Mm, this doesn't look too so fine as the one I used the pencil, but let's try again. I think I'm just going to practice more with these markers. Well, I don't normally use a marker. I just go with my pencil. Like I said, I prefer using the pencils. I'm just going to try drawing it again with using my calligraphy pencil. Calligraphy pen, actually. And I'm uh, going to use my ink. I'm not going to put the ink inside. I'm just going to dip the pen in the ink that way I feel it's easier normal procedure draw your nuctus to get your measurements it can be as I said it can be seven between seven to eleven nucot you divide your into you divide it into three segments. Get your angle, then start drawing your little alley. Okay, I think I like this better than the marker. I'm just going to draw it again without using the Nocta measurement. Wow, I think I prefer this. This is much better than using the marker. This is second to my pencil actually. <laughs> So I'm just going to draw it again one more time using my pencils so you see how it is. Enjoy the ilia. This looks so beautiful. Now let's get our nuclear. Let's see how long our little alif is. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Wow, oh, yeah, actually accurate. Seven. Look, no, no cut. So I'm just using the. I think this is the better use for the shoes marker to color my my letters after I've used the pencil. So I'm just going to color this blue. That's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful and understandable 
hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to know when I upload a new video. Thank you.